जबराम कंटिन्यू करेंगे कल सेक्शन 1.1 स्टार्ट करा था हमने और एडिशन तक आ गए थे हम प्रॉपर्टीज़ ऑफ एडिशन पढ़ ली थी आज सेक्शन 1.1 को कंटिन्यू करते हुए वी विल डिस्कस द मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ टू मैट्रिस राइट मल्टीप्लिकेशन of matrices okay pehle dekhenge it's when it is defined theek hai we will take two matrices a of order m by n and b another matrix of order say p by q then we say a matrix a and b or conformable for multiplication multiplication if now this is important from this point if n is equal to p that is to say number of columns of a which is pre multiplier right equals number of rows of b oh which is what post multiplier so agar aapko bolna ho ki do matrices ka hum kab multiply kar sakte hai you will say that if the number of uh, columns of pre multiplier is equal to the number of rows of the post multiplier uh, that's we can write it as that is if we are supposed to find ith jth entry of uh, ab when we take the product that will be equal to summation right or running from 1 to n it is a i or b or g right where i goes from 1 to so on up to m as the number of rows here is m and j goes from 1 to so on up to as the number of columns here is q right now you can just write it as it is if i write it in expanded form it is a i r or i should write a i 1 a i 2 so on a i the last r is n and this will be written as column it will be b 1 j b 2 j and the last one will be b n j right 
where you will write where again i goes from 1 to so on up to m and j goes from 1 to so on up to q right so this is uh, how we will find uh, the ith and jth entry right now uh, this thing we can uh, write this as it is to get uh, ith jth entry uh, we will we'll multiply ith rho of a with jth column of b right this is how we will you know apply the operation of multiplication let's take an example here you got a matrix that is 1 2 0 and 4 we're supposed to multiply it with 1, 2, 9, 3, 6, and 0. Now, you know it is 2 by 2, and this is 2 by 3. Right. Now, if someone asks you to, you know, find this product, right, uh, first you will check the number of columns of the pre multiplier, that is this matrix and the number of rows of this matrix that is post multiply right and the number of columns of this is 2 and the number of rows of this is 2 that means the product is definite now from here to get the first entry right we will multiply first row that is ith row first row with jth column that is the first column because we are supposed to find the entry a 1 1 of the uh, resulting matrix that means we will multiply first row that's ith row with the jth column that's the first column so you will get a 1 1 to be 1 into 1 that is 1 2 into 3 that is 6 similarly to get a 1 2 it is the entry is here a 1 2 right so what you will get we are supposed to multiply first row with the second column. So you will get 2 plus 12. Right. Now, firstly, we will see what will be the order of this. Uh, this resulting matrix. The resulting matrix will be of order this 2 and this 3. That is 2. Now, to get A13, the entry here is A13. You will multiply ith row, that is first row with the jth column that is the third column so you will get 9 only plus uh, this 2 into 0 similarly you can just multiply this i will just multiply it, it is 12 right then multiply this this is 24 and then multiply this one it is 0 so this is how you will you know uh, multiply now this is the uh, way right to get the eighth jth entry uh, you can apply this thing and you will get the result Right, and uh, the note here is if uh, A is uh, a matrix M into N, B is a matrix N into P, then AB will be a matrix say C, but that will be of order this m and this p m this p not this n. okay so this is how we will you know multiply and uh, you can clearly see that the multiplication is not al always defined okay so this is how we will take the multiplication of matrices right Now we'll see if we are given two matrices and uh, what are the possibilities of the product A, B and B, A, right? We will just 
see how many possibilities are there and uh, how many possibilities are such that matrices will be uh, equal or of same order, right? Let A and B be any two matrices. Right. Then for A B, that is the product A B and B A, there you can say uh, for matrices A for the product A B and B A. We have six possibilities, right? The possibility number one is A, B, and B, A, both does not exist. Okay. This is one of the possibility, right? And the possibility number second is A B is defined. But B A is not okay now possibility number third is a b is not defined is not defined but b a is okay There are in total six. These are first three. Now the fourth one is A B and B A. Both exist. But their order is not same. Now fifth one is A B and B A both exist but A B is not equal to B. And the last one, A, B and B, both exist and A, B equals B, A also. These are only the six possibilities when you are taking the product of two uh, matrices, right? Uh, the first one is A, B and B, A both does not exist. Pehle ke liye mein example de raho ki ye cheez kaise satisfy hoi, thik hai? Now let me take a matrix of order two Right, it's a square matrix. And then let me take the matrix. Now this is two by two. What is this? The row is one, it's a row matrix. And the number of columns is three. Now if you go for A, B, 
That means you will check for the pre-multiplier the number of columns. The number of columns here is 2 and the number of rows for the post multiplier that is B. And the number of rows here is 1. So 2 is not equal to 1. In definition we have written that agar iske columns, number of columns, iske rows ke equal ho gaye, number of rows, then we can define this. Here the number of columns 2, number of rows 1, so it's not defined. That's what AB is does not exist. How about BA? Now if you look BA, now pre-multiplier humara yaan B hoga or post-multiplier A hoga. Thik hai. Now B ke liye ab humne columns check karne hai. They are 3 in number. Okay. Or A ke liye humne kya check karna hai? Rows. They are 2 in number. 3 is not equal to 2. 3 is not equal to 2. When 3 is not equal to 2, that means we will say this is not defined. So this is the first possibility that both does not exist. Right? This was the example of it. Ab dusre pe aate hai, hai? AB is defined or AB exists. Right? But BA is not. AB exists but BA does not. You can just take an example. Say a matrix, simple matrix layer on it. B now if you look at A B, if you look at A B, now you are supposed to check the number of columns of this, that is one. And you are supposed to check the number of rows of B. That's one. So this thing is defined. Now how about B A? Now Java B A dekhoge, you are supposed to see the number of uh, columns of B. That is three. And the number of rows. That is one. So three is not equal to one. This is not defined. So this is the possibility number second where we can see A B is defined but B A is not. Now we'll see A B is not defined, B A is, right? We'll not do anything. We'll just change the names, right? Call this one B and call this one A. Now possibility number third is A B is not defined. When you will go for A B, the number of columns of A are how many? How many? That is three, and the number of rows of B. That is 1, 3 is not equal to 1, so this is not defined. How about BA? Now for BA you will check the number of columns of B. They are three. In, uh, they are one in one in number, right? One, and uh, the number of rows of this A is one, so uh, this thing is defined. So this is the possibility number third, and this is the example. You can just look at it. Okay. Now, uh, the possibility number four is that AB and BA, they both are defined, they exist, but their order is not same, right? Now, you can just take A to be a matrix 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 9, right? It is 2 and let me take B to be 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 9 that is 3 by 2 now is AB defined? the number of columns of A, 3 number of rows of this, define it is BA defined? the number of columns of B Two, number of rows of this two define it now if you look at here the resulting matrix when you will take a b it is define it the resulting matrix may be c okay <coughs> but what will be the order of that matrix when you will take a b that will be two by two okay now when you will go for b a what will the order of that that will be a matrix say c1 the order will be this okay so the 
Possibility number four says that A, B, and B, A both exist, and they are existing. We have given an example, right? But their order is not same. Here the order is two, here the order is three. So this is the possibility number four. Let's move to the possibility number five. Now possibility number five for the products is A, B, and B, A both exist. A, B, and B, A both exist, but A, B is not equal to B, A. I am just taking a simple uh, matrix here. Let me take this, 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 thing, right. And uh, let me take B to B, a matrix. 0, 1, 0, 0. Now we can find uh, the product AB. That will come out to be the row, the column, it is 0. The row, the column, it's 1 here. Row, column, 0. Row, column, 0. Right, this is AB. How about BA? A row of this, you will get 0. A row of this, you will get again 0. And row, well, that is 0. Which is not equal to AB. Okay, so this was a possibility number five. A, B, and B, A both exist, right? A, B is existing, B, A is existing, right? But A, B is not equal to B, A. And the possibility number six says that A, B, and B, A both exist, and A, B is equal to B, A. You can just take a simple uh, example of this. You can take B, let me take, a to be the identity matrix and B uh, any other matrix 1 2 5 9 right now you can see AB is defined BA is also defined right now what what's the uh, value of AB that will come out to be B what's the value of this it will be B so this is an example for this a b and b a both exist and they are equal right so these were the possibilities for the product a b and b a now uh, we will you know uh, and discuss a you know small concept that is positive integral powers of matrices right positive integral powers of matrices Let A be any matrix and N be number from set of naturals. Right. अगर कोई इसकी हेडिंग डालना चाहे वो डाल सकता है। It is a positive integral powers of a matrix, right? Then हमारे पास जो पहली चीज होती है वो है कि a की पावर वन is a, second one is a की पावर n plus 1 can be written as a ki power n a okay so from this we have or we can say a square can be written as a a a cube can be written as a square a or you can further write it as a, a. 
also we can verify a power m is a and the second thing is if you have a power m it is a now they look like you know they, they are very simple but the thing here is that it is possible only when m and n both are neutrals positive integers okay? this thing is this these results are true when m and n are positive integers now we'll move to the properties properties of multiplication right mai kuch chhod nahi raha i am just you know trying to uh, tell you each and everything right छोटी सी छोटी बात भी ठीक है वो भी बताने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ मैं ठीक है नाउ वो यू डिस्कस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन ठीक है। I will you know discuss fourteen of them, fourteen. And I guess that's enough. Fourteen is enough for any, even for any competitive examination. ठीक है। The first one is matrix multiplication is not in general in general committed to ठीक है ये इसकी एक्सप्लेनेशन अगर देनी हो तो इट्स वेरी मच एविडेंट अभी जो हमने वो छः पॉसिबिलिटीज देखी कि देर आर केसेस जब ए बी डिफाइनड है बट बी ए डिफाइन ही नहीं हो रहा तो इक्वलिटी की तो बात ही नहीं ठीक है द पॉसिबिलिटी द प्रॉपर्टी नंबर सेकंड इज मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज एसोसिएटिव ओके दैट इज इफ यू आर गिवन थ्री मेट्राइस वी कैन से दिस थिंग इज इक्वल दिस वेरी थिंग Okay, I will write uh, provided both sides exist. ठीक है अब एसोसिएटिव ला होल्ड करने के लिए इन का प्रोडक्ट डिफाइनड होना चाहिए ठीक है वही लिखा मैंने प्रोवाइडेड बोथ साइड्स एग्जिस्ट दिस प्रोडक्ट इज डिफाइंड दिस इज डिफाइंड दैट दिस विल होल्ड ओके द प्रॉपर्टी नंबर फोर इज मैट्रिक्स थर्ड एक्चुअली मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ठीक है दैट इज आपके पास तीन मैट्राइस है ठीक है ए 
you know, B, C, you can write it as A, B plus A, C. Saath mein likhunga. Provided both sides exist. Provided both sides exist. पहले तो ये कि आप B plus C कर रहे हो तो पहले तो यही बात आएगी क्या इनका addition definite है कि नहीं addition definite के लिए हमने क्या बोला था order has to be same right then जब आपने इनको add किया right फिर multiply करना है A के साथ then you are supposed to check uh, the number of columns of this A has to equal the number of rows of the resulting matrix right or why say yahan pe kaam chalega aap pehle a aur b ko multiply karoge the number of rows of a has to equal to the number of row, uh, col, uh, number of columns of a has to equal to the number of rows of b and the number of uh, columns of a has to equal to the number of uh, rows of b then phir uske baad inka dekhna ki addition defined hai order of this has to equal the order of this we will have provided both sides exist a property number four if a is any a is any m by n matrix okay then then a I N is equal to A is equal to I M A right इसका मतलब क्या है कि आपके पास कोई भी मैट्रिक्स है जिसका आर्डर M बाई एन है तब अगर आप उसको मल्टीप्लाई करोगे किसी भी आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स से जिसका ऑर्डर एन होगा एन इसलिए यहाँ पे क्योंकि नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इसके एन है तो इसके रोज एन होने चाहिए ठीक है अब इसके इसका आई एम इसलिए क्योंकि इसके कॉलम्स नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इसके रोज के इक्वल होने चाहिए दैट इज एम तो ये चीज होल्ड होगी ठीक है तो प्रॉपर्टी नंबर फाइव इज If A B is a null matrix, if A B is a null matrix, that means you are taking the multiplication of a matrix A with B, that is coming out to be a zero matrix or null matrix, then it is not necessary that b a is null right now example there aapke paas matrix hai 1 एक और मैट्रिक्स है राइट वेन यू विल टेक द मल्टीपल इसको ए कर दे रहा हूं नाउ वेन यू विल डिफाइन ए बी वेन यू विल कैलकुलेट दिस थिंग यू विल गेट ए नल मैट्रिक्स right but when you will take b when you will take b a you will get something like this right that is if a b is null matrix a b is a null matrix but when you are taking b a that's not necessary that b a is also a null matrix that is property number 5 these are five properties we will Move on to the sixth one.
right? We'll discuss as many as uh, 14 properties, right? This one was fifth one. Now let's move to the property number six. <coughs> that is for every matrix A of order M by N right here there exists null matrix right there is a null matrix such that A into this null matrix is a null matrix right and which is equal to this thing right that means for every matrix if you just take this is m by n you are supposed to take this n by p or n by n right <coughs> and uh, you can write it here this is also zero if, if we take this thing then uh, this matrix here will be m by p and uh, you, you are supposed to you know take this as uh, say r into m then this will be r into n okay so for every matrix, there exists a null matrix. When you will multiply that matrix with your given matrix, you will get a null matrix. It's a simple uh, property. Property number seven is important. Right. If AB is equal to zero that's a null matrix if a b is equal to zero then it is not necessary that one of them or both of them both of them are null matrices TK Now, bolne ka kya matlab hai? Aapke paas matrix A, right? And there's another one, right? That is B. And you are taking the uh, multiplication and you are getting a null matrix, right? That does not imply that either A is zero, that's null, or B is null, or both of them is null. There is a possibility that both of them are non-zero. But still, you are getting the result to be a, a null matrix, right? Now, the example is, very much here uh, you can just take a matrix this this and this similar example that we have taken just uh, zero 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 right <coughs> now <coughs> when you will multiply uh, this uh, a and this b together you will get a b to be Null, right? You can see it, but neither of them. 
uh, this is non-zero and this is non-zero. We have discussed it, a matrix is non-zero if at least it has one non-zero entry in it. Here is non-zero entry, here is non-zero. This is the property number seven. Let's move to the property number eight. It's again very important. Now, now it's property number eight. Property number eight says, if A and B are two complex matrices, of order n by n such that such that sum of elements of e true row of A is K1 and sum of elements of each row of B is k2 then the result says then sum of elements of each row of a b equals k1 k2 product right bata kya raha aapke paas koi matrix hai right aapke liye prove kar de raha hu main for a matrix of order uh, 2 theek hai then you can uh, generalize the result aap fir is cheez ko na generalize bhi kar sakte ho ये आपके पास मैट्रिक्स ए है ये आपके पास मैट्रिक्स बी है दोनों स्क्वायर है ठीक है जैसा कि स्टेटमेंट में लिखा है दे नीड टू बी स्क्वायर ये गिवन है ठीक है इसके साथ क्या लिखा है इसने ए11 प्लस ए12 इज के1 एंड ए21 प्लस a22 is also k1 साथ में b11 b12 k2 और b21 plus b22 दोनों क्या है matrix A matrix B right of order n by n the matrices are of order 2 by 2 both then it is given that sum of uh, elements of each row of A, that is A11 plus A12 is K1, A21 plus A22 is K1, and also B11, B12 is K2 in the second, and uh, B21, B22 is K2. Now, what we are supposed to show, we are supposed to take the product of AB, right? Uh, which implies you will get a b how will get a b is a b is equal to the row and the column you will get a 1 1 b 1 1 plus a 1 2 b 2 1 and then a 1 1 okay b 1 2 plus a21 b21 
टू ओके देन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस थिंग इट्स ए टू वन बी वन वन प्लस ए टू टू बी टू वन सिमिलरली ए टू वन एंड देन यू विल गेट बी वन टू and the last one is a22 b22 it is a22 b2 right now what we are supposed to show we are supposed to show uh, if we add this quantity with this quantity we are supposed to show it is equal to k1 k2 right i will write here here now we will add this it is a11 then b11 plus a12 b21 plus a11 and b a12 plus a21 b22 okay we will show it is equal to k1 k2 similarly then you can add these two and you can show it's also equal to k1 k2 okay now what we will do is uh, we can just take uh, it is a b11 a11 we can take this common okay uh, have i done it uh, correctly it's a11 okay b11 a12 b21 okay then um, the, this one is a11 b12 a12 uh, a12 yes there's a mistake right this is A one two B two two, so the last one is A one two B two two. Now it's okay. Now you can take A one one out from this and this. You will get B one one. Okay. It is B one two here, right? It is B one two. It is B one one plus B one two. plus right <coughs> a11 common and a12 common here so we will get b21 plus b22 okay now a11 as it is b11 plus b12 b11 plus b12 that is k2 okay plus a12 as it is b21 plus b22 that is k2 again now you can take k2 common you are left with a11 plus a12 okay now this is k2 now this how much is this, this is k1 as you have I know here a11 plus a12 is k1, so this thing is proved that we have shown the sum of this is uh, this thing. I will check the product is correct or not. Maybe there is a, a mistake, right? I will cross check it. A21, B11, and uh, then you have A22, the B21, okay? A21, B12, A22, B2. This is correct, right? Now we have shown that sum of uh, the uh, elements. Of this row are k1, k2. You can similarly show this is k1, k2. That is the result. I have shown it for a matrix of order two. You can generalize it for higher orders as well, right? <coughs> this was property number eight. Let's move to the property number nine. Nine. Property number nine is if sum of elements of Each 
row I will write in bracket it is column as well if sum of each element if sum of elements of each row of a matrix A is equal it's a complex matrix again of order n by n is k then sum of elements of each row or column of a square is how much will be that that will be k square okay now you can deduce this uh, from the property number eight where uh, you said that uh, a b it is k1 k2 here you are taking a b to be equal to a and k1 k2 equal to k then you will get k k that is k square this is the property number eight uh, property number nine and in property number eight <coughs> You will write that result is true for both rows and columns, right? I haven't written column in the braces there, but you will write that, right? In the property number eight. Now the property number uh, 10 will be the generalization of this, right? I will write property number 10 will be, if sum of elements of each row of a matrix A equal, this is K, then the sum of elements of each row of A key power M, is k key power m where m belongs to naturals right <coughs> m is a positive integer okay uh, it will hold for uh, zero as well right no problem there that's very much understood so that's why we are generalizing it for naturals okay and now we will uh, move to the property number uh, 11 right now the property number 11 is if sum of are you going to write let a and B B any two complex matrices of order order n by n such that sum of elements of each row of A sum of elements of each row of A is equal to k1 and sum of elements of each row of B is K2. 
then the result says then sum of all elements of a b equals कितना आएगा अगर आप फिर सारे एलिमेंट्स का सम लोगे दैट विल बी इक्वल टू के वन के टू प्लस के वन के टू प्लस सो वन अप हाउ मेनी टाइम्स जितने रो है उतने ठीक है दैट इज एन टाइम्स के वन के टू एंड द सेम रिजल्ट होल्ड्स इफ इन प्लेस ऑफ रो वी हैव कॉलम्स राइट दिस इज द रिजल्ट राइट अब अगर ये बात है कि मैं एक ही मैट्रिक्स ले रहा हूँ ए राइट और द सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ईच रो इज कमिंग आउट टू बी के राइट देन द सम ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए की पावर एम विल कम आउट टू बी एन टाइम्स के की पावर एम राइट दैट विल द रिजल्ट नंबर ट्वेल्व राइट इज द एक्चुअल द जनरलाइजेशन ट्वेल्व इफ ए is a complex matrix of order n by n such that such that sum of elements of each row of a is k then sum of all sum of all elements of a ki power m is how much k ki power m and sath mein n because there are n rows so this is the result number 12 okay now there are two more we'll discuss them and uh, that will be it for the properties of uh, matrix multiplication i don't think you know if you will just pick uh, any paper of any higher uh, mathematics examination you will find the uh, properties of matrix multiplication other than these they will be based on uh, these only i will you know uh, give you some questions at the end also and i will you know myself solve some questions on the board here as well so we will get the questions at the end uh, that is uh, now the property number 13 is if a and b are complex matrices of order n by n right such that they commute this is very important for this result this thing this very thing they commute then you can expand the sum by the binomial you know that it will be nc0 okay then a ki power n b ki power 0 then it is nc1 a ki power n minus 
b ki power 1 plus so on the last one will be n c n a ki power 0 b ki power n now you can expand this sum by binomial only if the matrix the two given matrices are committed they commute right this thing holds only then uh, as I Q right is uh, very much evident if you are supposed to you know mm, uh, calculate this you will write it a plus b a plus b and then you will just try to multiply it it will be a square plus a b then you will get b a then you will get b square right but if it is given that means uh, that is they are committed to then you can write a b uh, in place of b a you can write a b right plus b square now it becomes the formula that is uh, a square plus 2 a b plus b square which is the binomial expansion of this which is only possible if the two matrices they commute right now the property number 14 is coming your way property number 14 given again uh, two matrices or uh, square matrices right this will be the last property for matrix multiplication uh, such that a b equal b a equal a null matrix then what will the result then a plus b n is this thing only right you can expand this by binomial where n is a positive integer again you will just keep in mind n is from set of naturals okay now again uh, a b is equal to b a right and a b is zero then you get a square b square for this and similarly for n you will get this you can prove it by induction as well right so that's it for the properties of uh, matrix multiplication